it's into a nice day, Patrick, but as we see some melting over the next few days, black ice will be a concern in the early morning hours. The combination of just that melting and refreezing overnight is one of the issues, but we also had that bit of moisture uh, still left on the roadways from yesterday's light snowfall during the evening commute. And so the combination there of that and falling temperatures has allowed for that risk of black ice. Notice especially Smithfield, Richmond, both down into the 20s now. Providence is below freezing. Newport as well. Chapachet, you're down to 30 degrees. And right along uh, the shoreline, westerly Narragansett, still hovering at or just above freezing. The bottom line is you do need to use some extra caution for today. We haven't heard. Melissa has been keeping a close eye and I haven't heard of any significant issues but uh, do be careful. 30 feels like 21 under a west wind at 11 miles per hour. Radars dry locally. If we widen out the view just a little bit, you can see some flurries and snow showers spilling over the great uh, over the Berkshires. Those will be fizzling out as they push south and east today. So I've got our threat tracker elevated for this morning due to that black ice concern. Rest of the day is dry with a cold front coming through that front going to bring about a little bit of cloud cover and a shot of cooler air for tonight and tomorrow, but no big uh, precipitation events with it. In fact, not uh, looking at dry skies over the next few days up until we head into Thursday night and Friday. So clouds clearing out this morning. We're looking at mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. It'll still be breezy at times with a west northwest wind gusting up to 25 and 30 miles per hour. Evening commute, no trouble tonight. We are going to be watching again for those temperatures falling below freezing during the evening hours so that uh, black ice reforming for some of us. Morning commute around 32 degrees, damp with slick roads, sunrise a little before quarter past seven now. Looking at the afternoon conditions, upper 30s to near 40 degrees in Wickford, Newport, Narragansett, Block Island close to 40. It'll be breezy, dry, and mostly sunny. It'll feel pretty comfortable outside. Mid and upper 30s in East Providence and Bristol, dry and seasonable in Situate. Mid 30s and upper 30s, New Bedford and Westport, Fall River, Freetown, Taunton, Seekonk, all into the mid and upper 30s. The evening hours under clear skies and diminishing winds. I expect things to drop off more quickly this evening. Temperatures, so about 30 degrees by 8 o'clock, 25 by 11, and many of us waking up in the teens tomorrow morning. So it will be a colder start, but dry and clear under those lighter northwest winds. Seven day future cast. 36 for your high on Friday, on Wednesday. It's a mostly sunny sky with temperatures uh, just running a little bit cooler. Your Wednesday night won't be nearly as chilly, only dropping to around 30. And how about Thursday? 48 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, but dry during the day. All eyes on that Friday, Saturday time frame. We've got a soaker at two areas of low pressure kind of come through here, giving us rain that'll fall heavy at times. The timing is Friday morning to Saturday afternoon amounts about one to three inches of rain. Some of our computer models even putting those amounts over three inches. So that's significant. It'll lead to street flooding, poor drainage flooding, likely to see areas of dense fog as well. On Saturday, warmest part of the day, early afternoon, temperatures dropping into the 40s late day, and we'll be in the 30s and 40s during game time at Gillette. The good news is it looks like this rain will be out of here before kickoff Saturday evening. Sunday's high at a cooler 36, and it looks dry and chilly for your Martin Luther King.